Hello, welcome to SS Unitech Social Decide, and this is continuation of PySpark tutorial. So, in this video, we are going to see about the explode, explode outer, post explode, post explode outer. So, all these four functions we'll see in this video. Before going forward, if you haven't watched the last video of this video series, so I would strongly recommend to watch that video where we have seen about the explode function. So as per the today's agenda, first we'll see explode, then explode outer, then post explode, then post explode outer. So what is the explode function? It is used in PySpark data model to explode an array or map related column to rows. So in the last video, we have seen how we can map related column converted to the rows. In this video, we'll see about the array type. So let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to see in practical. So here in this notebook, first I'm going to import all these types. So here we can see this array type. So I'm going to create two columns by array type. One is the skill and second is the work profile. And let me try to execute this. So it will create a data frame. So here, as we can see in this data frame, we have name, skill, work profile, current state and previous state. So if you can see the third row here, the skills are null. So let me try to do the explode on this skill and then we'll see the output of this. So let me use the df dot and here let me try to select the name. Next column, let me select skill. So we can use df dot skill. In the third column, let me try to use the explode but explode function we have to import first. So we can import from PySpark dot SQL dot functions. Let me try to import all the function. Here, let me try to use the explode and inside the explode, we can simply pass this skill column. And let me put this another data frame that is DF1 and we'll see the output of this DF1. Let me execute and we'll see the output. So inside the explode, so it should be skills, not skill. So we can use skills and re-execute it. So here, as we can see in this column, that new column we have created, we have exploded this. So James Smith, we can see three times because ADF, Scala and Python, PySpark is there. And if you can go here, we can see this Michael Rose. So ADF, SQL and PySpark for this, but for the empty string, if you can see this Williams, so this is not appearing here. So if we are going to use the explode and inside that column, any particular column value is null for particular row, then it will not be appear in output. So all the row will be gone. So how we can avoid this? So we can use explode underscore outer. So once we'll use explode underscore outer function, it will be going to add those missing rows as well with the null. As here you can see, we can see this Williams skill is blank and in the column output, it will be null, but it will be appear in the output. So while we are going to use the explode function, make sure if we are having the nulls inside particular array, and we want to keep those rows. So instead of using explode, we can go with the explode underscore outer. Let me try to use the pose explode. What it will do? It will add the position of this array. So let me try to execute and we'll see the output. Okay, so here we have added two times E. So that's why we are getting this error. It is pose explode. So if you can see the output, then here we can see this position so it will also add the position along with the column so in the position we can see zero for the adf one for the scala and two for the pi spark so similarly zero position for adf one for scala and two for pi spark so it will be going to add the position as well but again the problem is if we are having any empty or null in the input then it will not return anything for that particular employee then what we can do we can simply use post explode underscore outer 
so it will be going to add that missing row as well so earlier it was total six rows and now it is having total seven rows we can verify from here or we can scroll and we can check so that Williams is having null so we can see position as null and column value is also null so this is the particular use of the explode function explode outer post explode and post explode outer so I hope guys you have understood how we can use all these functions thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos see you in the next video